six months after the surgery, we were allowed to start trying to get pregnant. They don't connect the fallopian tube, so we're not able to do that naturally. So we had to do an IVF and we transferred one embryo in. And unfortunately, that first embryo did not take. Um, we transferred a second embryo October 13th. And five days later after that um, transfer, I tested, I got to pee on a stick, which was something I've always wanted to do. And I saw two pink lines and my husband was shocked and I was shocked. We knew the outcome was, you know, that we could get a baby, but we never really believed it. And um, eventually we got my son, Teldon. Oh, look at that hat. <laughs> He is adorable. Keldon Walker, and he's four months old. He is beautiful. He's beautiful. Congratulations. He's a real dude. <laughs> he is. And for everyone at home, I just want to make something clear, just a little anatomy 101 lesson. When you know you were born, you were born with your ovaries. So he's actually your biological child. It's just that your uterus wasn't fully formed, but you had the surgery. It was a success, and here we are. As you sit there holding your baby, like, what is this like for you? Because you never thought this would happen for a while, right? No, it was just, it's such an amazing thing. I never really, honestly, I still don't believe it. It's, I, I'm just in love. He's the love of my life, and it's all I've ever wanted. Well, what a, what a success story, but, in order for Chelsea to have her beautiful, studly baby boy, she <laughs> needed a uterus donor. So joining us now is Chelsea's donor, Cheryl. So Cheryl, thanks so much for being here today. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me. Look at him. <laughs> Isn't he, he great? He makes my heart so happy. <laughs> so, so Cheryl, walk us through it. What made you decide you wanted to donate your uterus? I was watching the local news and uh, I had saw that a woman had donated her uterus. I was mind blown that this was possible. I couldn't understand. I mean, to take an organ from one person to another and create life, it was amazing. This was just something I knew I wanted to do. You were just sitting at home watching television and saw this pop up on your screen and you said, you know what, I can help this lady. I can help this lady and you travel and have this invasive surgery to help a stranger have a baby and fulfill one of her dreams. Is that pretty much it? That's how it happened? I, I did. Um, I, like I said, I watched the news. I went right on the website. I spoke with my husband. Uh, you know, I wanted to clear it by him because this was going to have to be a family decision. I have two kids, so I wanted to make sure that this was something we were all in agreement with, um, you know, because mom was going to probably be down for some time. And we were all in. I, the next day I filled out the application and here we are. You are a good person.